Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is American Country 716. Um, over the weekend, I was starting to work on this trailer, and uh, I have a plasma cutter. It's a Thermal Dynamics uh, Professional Cutmaster 52. And when I went to use it, it didn't work. Let me show you what I found and what it did. So here she is. Third Thermal Dynamics Professional uh, Cutmaster 52. So this is what she did. Turn the switch on. It would, it would flash 75 on the pressure and then flash 70. And then you also had an exclamation point here. Um, so I kind of thought uh, I had an air issue. Um, I took it all apart. I thought maybe a mud dauber wasp got in the air, air inlet, uh, you know, because it's telling me I have only 70 PSI, but I have 120 PSI at my air compressor. So when I took it apart, everything seemed to be fine inside. Um, and let me show you what I did. Um, I ended up referring to the manual. So let me back up. Uh, I have another torch head I tried on here, and it did the same exact thing. Um, so when I got a hold of the manual, um, it was very helpful. So let me get the manual out, manual out and I'll show you that. Here's my manual. Um, I have a, a page saved here. So in the book, it has this information here, fault indicator. Here it shows if you have an exclamation point and one of these pressure lights, it should kind of put you in the direction to look to repair your machine. So I had a 70 parts in place. If you look on the next page, fault at 70 PSI. Um, it says the shield cup is loose. Uh, torch not properly connected to the power supply. Problem in the torch and leads parts in place circuit. And last but not least, failed component in unit. The fix for that is taking it to a dealer and getting it repaired. Um, so I figured that's what my problem was. I thought I had something serious going on. But as it turns out, <laughs> this is very hard to get this seated in properly. You have to turn this thing. I thought I was going to break it. You turn it, and there it goes. If you don't have that tight enough, it is not going to work. So, if anybody has trouble like this, uh, go to your manual or go to this video. And... You know, there's different problems in the book, like I said on that chart. If you have different pressure uh, indicator lights, it means different things. Uh, so this might be very helpful so, for somebody that's experiencing this problem, like I did. If I would have found this video earlier, I would have not wasted so much time trying to figure out what was going on. Like I said, I actually changed the torch and it still didn't fix my problem so it tells you all different stuff here so I hope this video helps somebody that has a uh, thermal dynamics cup master I know I would have appreciated uh, this video two days ago well uh, once again, this is American Country 716. Thanks for watching.
I just want to mention I am not sponsored by Thermal Dynamics in any way, but I sure would like to be. Their products seem to be pretty decent. This is my father using the plasma cutter as well. He is creating a tail light that we cut off the back of his trailer. It looks pretty good. I'll post a picture here with the tail lights in the plate. Nice job.